What is a widget? The Sawyer widget is a registration interface that can be added to your website on desired pages. It is used to display the schedule and offerings you previously set up and published on your Live View. We support a variety of options to customize your website using the Sawyer widget. When you embed the Sawyer widget on your website, customers will be able to register directly on your website. Here's an example of a website which features the Sawyer widget. Your Sawyer widget can be customized with the help of widget tabs and the Sawyer support team. This video will walk through options for customizing your widget. There are two views available for the Sawyer widget, Calendar View and List View. By default, the List View will be set up on your Sawyer for Business account. The List View is what we currently see on this Sawyer widget. To add this widget calendar view option for your business, we'll go ahead and navigate back to your Sawyer for Business account. Then, we'll click on your name or the circle on the top right corner of your screen. This will open up the main account menu. Select Settings. Drag the toggle button next to the widget calendar to view default options. From here, you can turn on the calendar view and select which options you'd like to display as the default view for customers. If you want to set the default view for any embedded widgets, email our support team. Now, let's explore the tabs on the Sawyer widget. To do this, we'll go to the Live View to show an example. Each tab corresponds to specific offerings set up in your Sawyer for Business account. When reviewing your Sawyer widget, you may not see all tabs as this is set up based on your initial offerings. Here is a full list of tabs available. Drop-ins. Display scheduled activities with drop-in pricing. Semesters. Display scheduled activities set up under semesters. Camps and events. Display scheduled activities set up under camps and events. Appointments. Display scheduled activities set up under appointments. Memberships. Displays memberships available for purchase. Online classes. Displays scheduled online activities. Parties. Displays party, field trip, and event packages available for inquiry. Gift cards. Displays gift cards available for purchase. We support additional naming options for each tab, as well as the option of hiding any or all of the tabs on your widget. Hiding all tabs can be helpful if you prefer to let your website do the work instead of relying on customers to click through the embedded widget and finding your various offerings. Explore our corresponding Help Center article on widget customization options for more guidance. Now, we'll cover how to use widget tags. Widget tags let you group different scheduled activities together by tagging them with a particular word. Once you add the same widget tag to different scheduled activities, you can embed a piece of code to display a widget that only shows activities you tagged with the word you chose. For example, if you want all your adult classes to show up on a particular widget on one page of your website, you can create an adult widget tag so you can embed an adult tagged widget on that page. To set up tags, let's go to Schedules found on the Navigation menu. To tag existing scheduled activities, you'll use the search bar found under Semesters and Camps and Events. Once you've found your scheduled activity, click the Edit pencil icon to open the editor. To tag a new activity, you can follow the usual steps to schedule your activity. You'll find the widget tags field at the bottom of the page on step one under advanced settings. In the text box, you'll add a specific word or phrase to tag the activity. For example, the word adults. Hit enter so that your activity tag appears in a gray box. You can create multiple tags and attach to the activity as needed, such as adults and winter. When finished tagging, click save and continue. Once a tag has been created, you can use this tag again and assign to additional activities when clicking into the widget tag field. You'll see the previously created tag appear in the text box selection. Let's take a look at how this works. Once your scheduled activities have been tagged, our support team will assist in sending additional Sawyer widget codes to embed directly on your website. You only have to do this last part once. Once it's embedded, your widget tagged widget will always show any scheduled activities to which you add the same tag. No need to re-embed. 
You can also add a registration button, sign up button on Facebook, or links to specific scheduled activity URLs if you'd prefer. Email us at support at highsawyer.com for more information or for assistance. In our next video, we'll explore the Sawyer Marketplace and show you how to put your best foot forward when attracting new customers.